2021, Black Rebel Beard Co. has made the switch from an emu oil base to an ostrich oil base for all of their products. Now, when you take a look at this beard oil here, that is a 75% blend of ostrich oil. Now, I loved emu oil. There was no secret there. It was something I really enjoyed. Ostrich oil is just better. It feels thinner in beard. It absorbs quicker and just leaves my beard overall feeling more healthy, kind of light, and I'm really, really digging it. Another bonus is it's almost untraceable when it comes to scent, so it can carry all the different beautiful profiles really well. In this video today, my beautiful wife is going to join us and we're gonna go over everything that Black Rebel Beard Co. has to offer as far as scent profiles and even a couple more that we'll be dropping pretty soon, aka coming back again. And of course, one of the main features of this video is we will be covering the new seasonal, not seasonal, monthly, yeah, monthly, limited edition scent, Sasquatch. Now, when this video drops, you will still have a very limited amount of time to be able to get this product. It will not likely be back again. And with this company, there are no discount codes. This is not an affiliate. There's no commission on sales, nothing like that. But they do have free shipping within the United States. So normally, whatever kind of discount code you would get, that would kind of even out with those shipping costs. So just something to consider there, all right? We're gonna check in with Sam. I'll come back afterwards and break down any other details on new things like the changes with their butter and just kind of have a conclusion for you guys. checked teeth hair good <laughs> two video two videos ago i had a blue sprinkle in my beard from christmas cookies last video she had some i don't know like a, a, yeah something and somebody was like can you please tell the missus she has some of her hair i was like payback payback for the blue sprinkle <laughs> but today sam we are reviewing the company black rebel beard coat now i have covered them many times before Usually, though, it's monthly one cent, so I don't okay. have you in on those. Um, I don't know if you've... Have you covered them? Do you remember? It sounds familiar. Probably. I, I, I obviously wear them yeah. often, talk about them often. Um, they made some huge upgrades. I love their artwork on their labels, but most of all, other than having the name and everything on here, it has the scent profile right below the picture. And so this is their... We're going to go through their whole lineup, guys, but this is their seasonal scent, their monthly scent right now that's taken everybody by storm. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's super talked about and popular. And we're like, for once, like the last people to cover it. So wow. should be should be interesting to hear what we think here. <laughs> and so the first one is Squatch. It's Squatch here. And this is Dark Tobacco and Oud. Dark Sasquatch. Wow. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I've said, sa I've said Sasquatch like... 30 times in the last month. And I just said, did I say squatch? <laughs> squatch. <laughs> I got, I'm going to leave. Uh, Sam's going to take over. Wow, that just happened. You, I was wondering why you were like leaning and looking. All right, well, that one's not going to come back. Sasquatch <laughs> is the monthly scent. We're not redoing that. Um, and this is a dark tobacco oud. Okay. Now, I remember when this came in, and I remember our reactions. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see a couple weeks later and see how it's it's settled for okay. us. Sasquatch. I think that I like it. Yeah. So I thought reading that profile, we yeah. were going to hate it, right? Yeah. That was the thing where we were like, oh, dark tobacco? Yeah. Like, no way. We're both fans of oud, Sam mm -hmm. more so than me. And yeah, it's it's nice. How would you describe okay. it first and foremost? And then we'll go into the like it category from there. So it's almost like mm. a little bit of a like woodsy sort of tobacco. Yeah. Like um I don't know if it's like stale or Yeah, dry I would say more dry. on the dry tobacco good, side. Yeah, yeah it's not the wet tobacco, but it does have kind of it smells, yeah, almost like a wood. Yeah. There's a little bit of spice in there. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I get the oud at all. Kind of. I guess it yeah. kind of has that cologne-ish yeah. sense to it. So it's very manly. That's it something is. that's kind of common for Black Rebel is it's very manly sense, and a lot of you are going to go nuts for it. Uh, for me, on the category of like tobacco and manly, spicy, I like it. It's one of my better ones in that category. Uh, is that my favorite category? No, but I do really enjoy this scent, and it's something that I would wear. I like it. Yeah, 
And these are now switched. This company was Emu Oil. Now it is okay. 2021. They are Ostrich Oil. Oh. And yes, and I love Ostrich Oil. It's the second time we've covered it. It is wonderful having it in beard right now. I uh, love, 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 love Ostrich Oil. All right, the next one up is The Loner. So this one is called Boring Unscented. <laughs> Boring <laughs> Unscented. I want to see if you get any smell, because some okay. people would see that and be worried, be like, ostrich unscented mm -hmm. so tell me if there's any kind of scent to it and then how would you describe it hold on i feel like your hands smell okay go ahead okay. not yeah. bad <laughs> <laughs> your hands stink <laughs> no if anything it'd be beard oil not really okay let me no. give it a smell here Yep, nope, there's no scent mm -hmm. there at all. It is a true unscented. How is that possible? I have no idea. But it is a true, true unscented. <laughs> right, like, do you have to put something in there to, like, dilute the right, smell? Right, right. <laughs> so this next one is my favorite, and it's what's in beard today, and probably what you smelled on my fingers there, and that is The Escape. This is Tropical Ooh. Pino Colada. Mm -hmm. Now, we've had this one before. Um, I believe this actually made my top five scents of 2020. I love it. It's it's me. It's refreshing. It's unique too. It's not just yeah. your normal one. Yeah. So many companies have been it doing such a good job. It doesn't give you that like suntan lotion sort of smell when mm -hmm. or like. There's a bright citrusness yeah. to it. A, a very bright note in there that I enjoy. Sweet. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's sweet. It's not tart. It's not sour. Yeah. Uh, it's not alcohol smelling. It's mm -hmm. just sweet. Uh, if you get, if you're watching, you're probably like, oh yeah, that's Dan all day. <laughs> I love that one. Love that one. All right, the next one is Go Devil. This is sweet cedar and leather. Sweet cedar and leather. So two forces one battling. That I hate, yeah, one yeah. that I love. <laughs> I was just gonna say two forces battling there. Sam loves leather. Not the biggest uh, fan of cedar. What? Yes. Have I been holding out on you? <laughs> Ooh. All right, cedar it's, and leather. It's neither of those. Okay. How would you describe it? It's a cologne. 100% right. cologne. What type of cologne? Mm, sexy man's cologne. Ooh, did you hear that? Sexy man's cologne. <laughs> okay. Not a sexy woman's cologne. <laughs> yeah, it is straight up a cologne. That's so it crazy. Is good. So wow. crazy. How, yeah, I don't smell any leather. I nope. don't smell any cedar mm -hmm. whatsoever. Yeah, like an expensive cologne, like yeah. a really, really good cologne. Yeah. Yeah, that's I like wonderful. That that, that is that's definitely one okay. So that one's far. gonna stay stay at the go devil. <laughs> All right. Next one is the vagabond. The vagabond here, and the scent profile on this one is citrus, tobacco, bay leaf. Okay. Now you love bay leaves, right? If I remember correctly. I like basil. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is basil. That you <laughs> like all those healthy green things sound healthy. sound the same to me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Show me something that basil's in that's not healthy. And don't say dryer sheets because we get the, the fancy ones. <laughs> <laughs> Did we stop dryer sheets? Yeah. All right, we stopped dryer sheets. We got dryer balls now. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, I don't think that I like that one. See, I do like this one. This one to me is refreshing. It is sweet on the side. It's It's got that earthiness to it, but it's, it's, it's nice and light and earthy. It's very earthy. Yeah, I like it. For it's, me, it's a daily wear type scent. It's earthy, tangy. Yeah, yep, yeah, well said. It is definitely earthy and tangy, and I enjoy <laughs> that. So yeah, great, tangy, yes, yes, yes. All right, the next one is Hooligan uh, Spicy Tobacco Vanilla. So a vanilla tobacco is a very popular profile okay. uh, for men, and I'm sure women too. And this is a spicy tobacco vanilla. Let's see what you got here. Oh. Mm. It kind of smells like Christmas. Like a manly Christmas. Yep, yep, I agree. The spice in there yeah, does back very, in the holidays it's that very you have. Holiday spice. Yep, this one's not for me. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of spices like that yeah. in my beard, but I know a lot of you would I'd like, like a it. Candle. I was gonna say a diffuser, diffu diffuser, a diffuser <laughs> would work really well. I'm off. <laughs> All right, the next one up is Hellcat, and this is a fresh, sporty cologne. Is what okay. they say. We'll let Sam C decide the what it what queen. it what it really is. Yeah, Sam likes cologne a lot. Oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. fresh, sporty cologne. Oh, I I'm fresh. Never... I'm sporty. You're sporty. What are you talking like? My, do you see the plaque over there? There's you're... a there's a coach Wait. of the year plaque. If you're sporty, that means like you're an athlete. I am not an like, athlete. Not like you watch sports. Hey, you saw me jump up on that playset the other day. <laughs> I I ninja this playset. I, uh... 
I threw a <laughs> kick when I got off of it. I literally jumped off, sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think I was looking, then looked yeah. up at the house, and I was just dying. Hey, that was, that was sporty. <laughs> All right. How does this smell? <laughs> I've never smelled a cologne like this. Okay. I really, really love yeah. it. Yeah. I, I get like a citrus cologne out of it's it. It's like... Fresh, sporty cologne. <laughs> yeah, that, yes, this, this description is spot description. on. Yeah, I do get some, like, citrus, fresh, like, kind of. It's, it's man, very, yeah, it's like, upbeat. light and uplifting. Yeah, and yep, it, can... it wakes you up kind of scent. Yeah. Yep, like, that's really good. Put yeah, that we'll, up yep, there. we'll get those two up there. All right, the next one is Iron Duke. This is a warm, woodsy cologne. Warm, woodsy cologne. So on the surface, wouldn't sound like something that would normally be for you. Uh-huh. So warm, woodsy cologne. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? It almost has like a lilac sort of smell Ooh, to it. Ooh, I love the smell of lilacs. If anybody ever gets a yes. chance, we said it many times, Mackinac Island, you got to visit if you come to Michigan. Mm -hmm. It's a necessity. It. it yeah, it, there's floral it, notes to floral, it for sure. Floral, warm. Do you get like a spice out of that? Like a... Almost like a cinnamon type spice with it. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's. I love this one. Love yeah. this one. This is one of the only ones. And again, I've had so many. I'm not able to wear all of them multiple times. Uh, but a couple of them, the Escape and this one, are below the label because I really enjoy wearing I like those. It. Yeah, I like that one too. That's that's a top three. -er. All right, then the last one that's available in the regular lineup. We got two more in a second, guys, that will be coming back soon. So keep in in a reminder on that. And this is the Rebel Smooth Woodsy Oud. Smooth, woodsy oud here. So let's see what you got with the rebel. Our son Jax is a rebel. <laughs> he is. So we like made him go to timeout the other day, and he has this, uh, he calls it Ellie, like his little elephant thing. He's walking away from us, didn't even look, and just tosses it over his shoulder and keeps strutting away. On his way to timeout. <sighs> if we sent Max to timeout, his world's wrecked. Yeah. You know, and Jax is just, <laughs> <laughs> what you think? You like I it? like it. What is the what is it called? Woods. Okay, there's yeah. Woodsy. <clears throat> and then it was Ood, right? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, so it fits it perfect. All right. It's like a it. woodsy cologne. Okay. I feel like the woodsiness would come out more when it's in beard, right. and then I, get, I wouldn't like it. I no, I get pretty much an Ood scent here. Oh, okay. I get yeah, even in beard. It, to me, it's this. It, this smells like Ood to me. Like, the, the woodsiness just might be adding in with the oud, but this, mm -hmm. to me, smells like a pure oud. If you're the ones like out there... Like, in the bottle, that smells... The, yeah. Just, yep. Okay, because yeah. I get, like... Smell that. I get... I get the woodsiness. Okay, and maybe I'm just thinking of when it was in beer and it's triggering yeah. here. I just get a pure oud. Oh, almost like the essential oil oud. There's a couple popular ones out there. Mm -hmm. That's what I get that smell like. Spot on. All right, and then our last two. These ones are super popular. They were limited releases, and the owner, Pedro, said they will be coming back. He's not sure, uh, but it's in the very near future, whether it's the main lineup, whether it's a limited edition. Uh, so if you missed these ones or you love these ones, you will have a chance. So the first one up is Bronco Buster. He's big into the Bronco trucks. He, like tricks them out and goes on the Bronco courses. Truck is. Uh, so you know the, the white truck that's... Uh, O.J. Simpson was doing the slow speed chase with the police oh, yeah. and getting away. That's a Bronco, but they're just releasing like a new SUV. one. Um, kind of. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. So it's it's. I think they consider it a truck. But this one is a smoky cowboy cologne. Hmm. I'm a cowboy babe. Oh, sorry, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> cowboy baby. <laughs> Please don't sing. I've never been demonetized or a copyright strike for my singing, by the way. So far, they so they couldn't even tell what song so, it was. <laughs> so far, so clean. Take that, Shazam! <laughs> All right, what do you got here on Bronco Buster? Right, that was, mm. yep, Bronco Buster. Um, stale cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> it's super unique. Yeah. A lot of you know this one out there. I have such a hard time sometimes describing what Pedro comes up with. Oh, man. I, yeah. Let, just what try to describe you? what it is. It is a tough one. I really don't know. I, I'm i sorry. We fail guys. on this one, guys. <laughs> this is one you got to buy to try. Because I can't even tell you any. What's it, it supposed to smell like? It's a smoky cowboy cologne. I don't get any smoke out of it at all, and I hate smoke. I get kind of in the realm of that tangy 
light freshness, but with some like spice in there. It's like a yeah, it's a stale, spicy cowboy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yep, yep. All right. Uh, I don't hate. I don't love. It, it's just there for me. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then the last one is the creeper, and this is earthy oud cologne. Is that a different color oil? Um, it. I asked him about that, and I think it's because of the essential dark. oils. Yeah, it is dark. Uh, sometimes essential oils will okay, do that, what is even it? from this one to that one. Yeah. This is earthy oud cologne. Okay. For our last one. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, ma'am. Gentlemen, always undo the bottle caps for your ladies. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> ladies, you can undo your own. Oh, caps. A feminist over here. <laughs> Sam's the opposite of a feminist. Um. It almost reminds me of that woodsy oud one yep. that we just smelled. I, I definitely, I get, I, there's oud, right? It's in yeah. both of those. Oud was the star of the show on the other one for me. No, the, co- the clone is the star of the show on this oh, one for me. See, I smell woodsiness. See, I smell a clone. Try I, I straight up smell the cl- a clone. I straight up smell ripped open wood. That's wild. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't. I get more of that cologne side. The oud is definitely there, and I, I don't really get the woodsiness <laughs> at all. This one's nice. I like this much more than the Bronco Buster. I like this much more than the oud, the oud one, which was the, the Rebel. This one, to me, has a nice kind of fresh twist to it. I do like that one. I don't like that. You don't like that one? No. Okay. So we have our top three, mm-hmm. I believe. Mine is the escape. We'll just leave that one aside. You guys know that for me. That one's easy. So one of them is Go Devil, uh-huh. and that is the Sweet Cedar Leather. That was like yeah, the cologne. Yeah, the Sexy Man cologne. There we go. And then another was the Hellcat, which is the Fresh Sporty cologne. That's the Daytime Dad cologne. Ooh, I like I like the, the, day, <laughs> it's the Daytime Dad cologne. I like That's a good way to put it. And then the last one is the Warm Woodsy cologne. I forgot what that was Yeah, me too. Like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the lilac one. Yeah, lilac, yep. And that one is like summertime, springtime, yeah. nice mm-hmm. and light. So for sure. Yeah, those are all really good. Yeah. Super unique yes. art here. Great stories. Which well, one of those is your favorite? Uh, mine would be the, if I had to pick one to have for the rest of my life, it would be the, the one that smells like the lilac to okay. us. Okay, I like the daytime dad cologne. The, you like the Hellcat? Mm-hmm. All right, so yeah, I like the, the Iron Duke. I think that was that one, right? Because it's so different. It is. I've never smelled a cologne that smells yep. like that. I would take the Iron Duke out of the top three. Sam would take the Hellcat out mm-hmm. of the top three. Man, the Iron Duke is so good. I'm, <laughs> yeah, that might be more refreshing than the uh, than the Escape. Mm-hmm. That man, wonderful. All right. Well, I think that was a long one, but hopefully it's worth <laughs> it because uh, there's not a lot of videos that have the complete lineup for this company. There so uh, they'll put all the scents down at the bottom. You guys can just scroll around and see the names as it goes through. All right. Thank you, beautiful. Welcome. Isn't she the best? I know, it's what makes the reviews great. I can get that, I can live with it. It's all right, guys. As promised, I wanted to show you an update with their beard butter. So Pedro made some switches here because he wanted the initial feel in beard to be a better experience. He thought that the health side, the purpose of butter was fantastic always, but maybe the feel when you first put it in put some people off, so he made some switches here. Now I want to show you guys this. This is a full body butter. And what that's going to do is that's going to offer you a little bit of hold, but also going to bring you a ton of nourishment. Now I am primarily a nighttime butter guy. I like to wear butter tonight. I don't usually need it or wear it during the day. So with this, it is a really good nighttime butter as long as the scent fits what I like to go to bed with. A lot of these are very strong, very dark, very manly, and that doesn't work for me going to bed, but something like the Escape is absolutely fantastic. That tropicalness, it is very nice, very relaxing, and Sam enjoys it. Some other things is Black Rail Beard Co. has an awesome beard conditioner and beard wash. They are using that ostrich oil base, so if you are someone that's like, man, I really like this ingredient, he has really every category for your beard that you can dive in there. And a lot of people know he is the king of stickers. He has some of the coolest looking stickers that you could ever imagine. So if you're a sticker person, check out their website. When you do an order, I believe there's some of these that are thrown in with the order, which is pretty sweet there. So. Super popular company, fantastic limited edition scents and artwork. I mean, if you're a displayer and you're someone that likes to put up in your collection, when you're showing these things off, they literally are just little pieces of art that are shown in whatever, your bathroom, your man cave, your your beard room, whatever it may be. But hey, I know some of you don't have this, but I am going to do a massive giveaway on Instagram for everything that you see here. Plus, I think there's a cologne, there's some bottle openers, a couple other things. 
of their entire lineup. Now, it's not these ones. These ones are mine. I'm sorry. But it's going to be a brand new set that's never been used, never been opened, never been smelled just for one of you guys. If you stay off Instagram and you don't do social media, I truly get it. I, I understand. But I'm trying to build up my base over there. I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram so I can add the swipe up feature. So this is one way that we're going to be able to do this. I'm going to ship it out myself. Pedro was... Uh, absolutely courteous enough to be able to offer this up to you guys. So go check out my Instagram, go enter the giveaway over there. Good luck. And if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer. Pedro also is surfing through the comments all the time. Check it out guys. Thank you for watching today. Dan, stay bearded, stay bearded and stay positive.